Hi, I'm Troy Lindquist with the National Weather Service. This is Severe Weather Awareness Week across Idaho, Washington, and Oregon, and today our focus is going to be on flooding and flash flooding. Rivers and streams across the Pacific Northwest often reach their highest levels during the spring due to snowmelt and spring rains. If river levels reach a certain height, they may spill over their banks and flood adjacent areas. This river flooding typically occurs pretty slow and the National Weather Service can usually provide 24 hours or more advance notice of the flooding through our river flood warnings. Flash flooding is quite different than river flooding. Flash flooding occurs within a few hours of the onset of heavy rain and in some cases can even occur in less than an hour from the onset of the heavy rain. Since 1986, there's been an average of 21 flash flood events across the states of Washington, Oregon, and Idaho per year. Flash floods normally occur in small streams or dry washes, on areas burned by wildfires, and even in some urban areas where you typically don't see rivers or streams flowing through them. To stay safe during flooding, remember to turn around, don't drown. Turn Around, Don't Drown, or TAD, is a National Weather Service campaign to warn of the dangers of trying to cross flooded areas. One of the reasons we have so many flood-related fatalities and vehicles is because people underestimate the force and power of moving water. As little as six inches of water can cause someone to lose control of a small vehicle or sweep someone off their feet, and as little as 18 inches of water can carry away most vehicles including trucks and SUVs. To stay safe during flooding, remember to avoid flooded areas and listen to the latest forecasts and monitor the latest weather conditions. And stay away from the banks of swiftly moving creeks and streams. This message is brought to you by your local National Weather Service office.